Hello, Beardo here. Um, when I'm not vlogging and looking for retail jobs, I am a playwright, so I figured I'd combine some of my interests and write some monologues and put them up here for you guys to hear. And, you know, if there are actors out there who want to use them, that's awesome. And uh, if actors want original monologues written for them, I'm glad to be of assistance, you know, just email me at uh, this address down here, uh, and, uh, you know, specifications, if you have any, in terms of time, or what sort of character, what sort of tone, that kind of thing, and I'll be happy to be of assistance, and if you like these scripts, uh, again, email me, let me know, and I can email the transcript to you. Okay, so <clears throat> this first one is uh, dedicated to an awesome playwright by the name of Stephen Adley Gurgis, who I've uh, had as a teacher for two playwriting classes uh, over at the Labyrinth uh, Theater Company. He uh, is responsible for an awesome play called The Motherfucker with the Hat. Uh, which is probably one of the greatest titles ever. And the, the play is meant to have New Eurekan leads and one of the uh, most recent productions didn't even bother looking at Hispanics just cast two white guys right away and there was all this Michigas and it was crazy. <clears throat> so, uh, this little satire here is, is for him. Uh, my thanks again to him uh, for helping out so much. Uh, and in this case, uh, writing this has been a lot of fun. It's, it's enjoyable to, to uh, write villains. So, yeah, this has been a lot of fun. I, I hope you guys enjoy it too. So, uh, here goes. <clears throat> okay, we've got to make this quick, because visionaries such as myself have a lot of places to be and a lot of things to do in those places that are of the utmost importance. Now, my assistant emailed me that you want to talk about my casting process. Oh, you're another one of those, aren't you? Okay, fine. I've cleared my schedule for you, so I might as well set the record straight again. This record keeps getting crooked, and it's because of people like you. I am a man of vision. I see the plays I cast in a certain way. I read Twelve Angry Men, and I just knew that I had to do an all-black production. I mean, they're angry. It's perfect. So I do have an eye out for minorities, in spite of what you guys might say. I am plenty supportive of minorities, but I am not going to let them get in the way of my vision. My production of Ventus has everyone up in arms. I read it, and I knew in my soul that the Maxon family had to be white. They were just so identifiable that they just had to be. And no, I didn't bother auditioning anyone of color for it, because why the hell would I when they wouldn't fit the role? They may be great actors, but that honestly doesn't matter. It just doesn't make sense. The artistic vision is first and foremost above all. Sure, the written word is important, but I'm the one who brings those words up off the page and out into the audience. I'm the one who brings them to life, and that's the most important part. Hell, the actors love me. I told them about this, and they said, that's mighty white of you. This controversy will die down. People will forget all about it, just like they did with Miss Saigon, which is now regarded as a classic, just as my fences will be. And the Lorca plays I did. I got hassled at the time, too, and I told them the plays spoke to me, and I'm white, so the plays got to be white, too. You may see what the writer wants you to see in your mind when you read a play, but that's why you don't get paid to envision it. I am the artist. The script is the canvas, and the actors are the paint. And if I don't want... Pleh, and if I want to use only certain colors for my paintings, then that's what I'll do. Dramatic action doesn't have to be affirmative. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got a production meeting for the revival of Big River with a Jew playing Jim. 
Okay, guys, so that was the monologue. I, I hope you enjoyed it. And again, if you have any requests, uh, feel free to email me. Again, the link is right here, or will be when I edit this. Um, so, yeah. Uh, uh, thanks again to Stephen and the Gurgis and uh, the awesome people at the Labyrinth. Um, and uh, I will be back with more stuff later. Uh, have a good day, guys.